Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Elle. I'm an interiors DIY blogger and YouTuber. And today I am doing a fun autumnal Halloween DIY. I'm so excited to do this. So I have seen these terracotta pumpkins everywhere. I will put a picture up here. I love the texture and I love the look of them. I'm not so much of a fan of the jack-o'-lantern personally, but it's your prerogative. But what I cannot get on board is how much these things cost. Like, they are great, but to me that seems overpriced for what they are. Plus, I can't get them here in the UK, as with most of the DIYs that I do. So I'm gonna make my own version of it. I still want terracotta pumpkins somewhere in my home, but I'm gonna do it in my style. This is something that I'm hoping I can get for under the price of what it costs to get these pumpkins and also just kind of adapt them to my own kind of taste and style. I have seen other YouTubers, other Instagrammers attempt to do this DIY themselves. If do go research it, there's so many different methods that you can do. Personally, I'm gonna go with this one, which I've somewhat made up, in which I'm using a spray to create texture and then kind of adding on the colour afterwards. So to do this DIY, you're gonna need a couple of things. So first you're gonna need your pumpkins. I have two. As you can see, totally not in any form my interior style whatsoever, but they were both under 10 pounds and the right shape and style for what I wanted in order to do this DIY. So they were a good base point. I have the spray that I'm gonna use, which is this spray. I'll link this all down below. This is like a stony textured spray. I wanted like a bit of texture, but I didn't want it to be too rough, but I didn't want it to not have any texture. So this was kind of that Goldilocks in between look. I have some paint, acrylic paint in terracotta which is perfect and I also topped up on my white acrylic paint so I can make sure I can get that light dusty colour itself. I haven't tried this DIY before, I'm going to be doing it as I go along so hopefully we have success with it, we shall see. I also feel like I'm cheating you guys with this line of DIY tutorial because in my head it makes so much like sense how simple and easy it is but you know what, we're here for the ride and I, hopefully this might inspire you to do something similar in your own home. You didn't even have to go for like the terracotta colour personally, you could go for something else but you can still get that kind of stony texture. Anywho let's start with the DIY which is to take these outside and spray them with the spring paint and leave them to dry and then we'll move on to the final step. Okay, welcome back guys. It is the next day and I have two gorgeous textured pumpkins here. So they've got that nice little bit of just something to them. So they're gonna be perfect for painting now. Here is the other one, looking gorgeous always. So we have my terracotta paint along with the white. I'm simply just gonna mix it on this cardboard, paint the pumpkins, and then that is it. That is them done and ready to be on display. So I do have the pumpkins that I'm trying to recreate from Pottery Barn on my phone. So they are already there for me just to reference to. I will admit, I have somewhat some reservations about the fact that you can still see this like checkered pattern that was previously on there. I'm hoping that I can somewhat mask it with the paint, but in reality, it's not too bad if it's not completely 100% covered. So. Let me angle you guys so you get a better look at the pumpkins and let's get painting and then that's it. The DIY is completed once they are dry. So I told you guys, it is so easy to do this DIY. Like I feel like I'm cheating you guys with this video, but uh, I hope you guys have as much fun as I'm having recreating this trend.
So I've just done a second coat of paint on this pumpkin here. It's not quite looking the dusty terracotta pumpkin look as I imagined it would. So I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try a trick that will hopefully, sorry, just checking that I didn't get any paint from my white top from there. Why do I kid myself by wearing white on doing DIY projects? But yeah, what I'm gonna do is try something that's gonna give me that look. So I have flour and a sip. This could all go wrong, but we're gonna give it a go and see what happens before we can move on to this one. So wish me luck. Okay guys, I hope it's not too dark for you. It is a little later on in the day. I have just, as you've seen, dry brushed most of the flour off, which has made a difference. This one's still a little bit damp at the bottom, but as you can see from this one, when you do somewhat let it dry and then brush it off, you're getting that effect that I was looking for, that kind of ag dried terracotta look. Now to stop the flower completely coming off, what I think I'm going to do is look for one of my clear sprays downstairs and give it a good spray just to hold everything in. I want probably a matte one just so I didn't fit, you know, destroy the finish of the flower and whatnot. But this is almost good to go. Like I said, I think it just needs overnight drying and a good spray. And then yeah, I think it's ready to display and show off the final look of it. So I will come back to you guys tomorrow with a reveal. the next day and the reveal of the pumpkins. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Oh, honestly, they're gorgeous. Obviously they are not 100% like the Pottery Pond pumpkins, but they are really, really cute and they're still like kind of aged terracotta look that I wanted to recreate. Obviously if you wanted to go for identical duplicates, then by all means I'd recommend getting a similar style jack-o'-lantern type shape first and then obviously adding in the texture. I would also recommend that obviously it's very obvious the checkered pattern on these ones which I think if I had built up the spray properly or maybe even just done some form of paper mache first just to smooth everything out then it would have looked a lot smoother and stuff but I actually really like the little pattern on it. Like I think they just they're just a bit unique and I just think like here they look so cute. They're like adding all those autumnal vibes into my home. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know by giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to attempt this uh, DIY yourself. Let me know obviously if you're going to try any other methods or any other shapes or anything like that. I would love to kind of hear about your thoughts and processes with trying it. Obviously I'm going to be decorating the rest of my home for autumn and fall. That will be coming up in a video very very soon I promise you. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. And yeah I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye!